Sometimes I think homeless people get a bit demonised and people are sometimes scared to speak to them and, you know, what, what do I say? And when you actually come onto our breakfast projects or our Christmas project, stereotypical thoughts that people have had in their mind get blown, blown out because they realise that actually some of these people on the streets you, used to be barristers, you used to be, you know, you think they've all got stories, musicians, you know, ex-policemen, anybody can become homeless, you know, through no fault of their own and we need to stop demonising that, you know. I myself you know, became homeless and suffered domestic violence. I had to grab my two children in 96 and go in a refuge and I think that's where my passion comes from. do the weekend breakfast, it's an early morning, seven o'clock, there's a smiley friendly face, there's hot food. You'll be able to get yourself to the shower, have some, you know, see a doctor and just generally get that break from that streets. You build up the confidence through the food offer, through that smiley face and then that can lead to next steps on journeys. But your first bit is that respite from the cold and that way just generally feel valued as a human being and I think that's the first bit is is realising that you are a human and there are people that care. You know some person's journey from the street from the doorway through to accommodation back into a job that could be a short journey a few months six weeks 12 weeks and they're back up on the feet other people's journeys can take 10 12 years but we're there every step of the way with that journey. So recovery is key for us in the next stage of the journey because people have had that respite, they've had a moment to overcome the crisis but in the recovery stage it's often coming to terms with the reasons why they've become homeless. It's often that point at which they start looking backwards at where, why they've ended up where they are and then starting to look at how they can move on. We offer a service where we can get people bank accounts, where we can get people onto universal credit where we can link people into partner organisations like mental health, drug and alcohol services, um, primary health care which is absolutely critical on the journey out of homelessness. The work we do here is around their strengths, the work we do here is around helping people to find a sense of who they are again, find, not being defined by homelessness, not being defined by poverty but my name is Mark and I can cook a meal. My name is Marie and I know how to help people to find the services that they need because I've already done it. But the real thing we love is the social side of it. That's the bit that makes it work and going with them, getting them involved in the community. We've launched our Sustain programme, which is working with local churches that support us to wrap themselves around that person. With the Greater Manchester Prevention Strategy, we're really looking to achieve a whole system coming together to end and prevent homelessness. We really want to focus on how we work together cross sector, so working with the local authorities and housing teams, private landlords, including the police and social services, uh, voluntary sector organisations and individuals who have got real insight into that experience. The faith sector has been absolutely essential to uh, the work in Greater Manchester so far. It's been providing leadership since, since day one in terms of uh, action on the ground, providing frontline services to people. It's also a key space for community and community groups and I think that connection uh, and understanding spaces of welcome have provided really uh, valuable support to people and shown the rest of the system what can be done and the different ways in which you can work with people. We know that there is a lack of housing stock in this country. There are not the places for people to feel safe. And we need to play our part as church in this move. And so there may be an empty building that's not being used. 
there may be a redundant manse. Why could they not be offered into this resolution of the housing crisis in this country? People need a safe place to live. They need to do that in community. We need as church to do justice, love kindness and walk humbly and play our part. Is not that the reason why we exist as church? To provide that sense of community. It seems to me that when you say reconnection is what we're after, that's what we can offer. <laughs>